Welcome back. Just when we thought we had seen it, mostly, apparently we haven't. Picture the fact that we can now actually slam four images together as elements and then describe their actions, what we want them to do collectively in a video. It's like directing your own movie with a few clicks, with your own subjects. I am Dr. Maya with BizCrown Media, and I'm going to show you how to use the elements feature in Kling AI to achieve this, to be able to create video content, telling your images what to do. This is a mind-blowing feature for any type of content creator, a marketer, advertiser, a musician, name it, small business owner, aspiring movie director. Now, why is this huge? Because now you are bringing your characters to life by animating them. Any director for any art project will tell you the ability to have the creativity to move and manipulate your subjects in the art is what we all aspire for, to be able to get the output that we want. So looking at this is to see the fact that you have so much power to create high quality, resonating content that's quite interactive, affordable without a full production team. So what I'm gonna do is show you here how I use it. So you can use it to create content and be aware of some of the limitations it still has, which will probably evolve with time. We'll be able to check out the features and simple ways you can start using this tool right away. This is like having a virtual animation studio at your fingertips, and I'm ready to help you get empowered to use this. Let's dive in. <laughs> Right, so here we are. Of course, you will need to create an account with Kling AI if you want to be able to use this feature and you have the opportunity to create a free account or a paid account through subscriptions and then you get credits here. But with the free account, you still get a set amount of credits. Now, once you are logged in, as you can see, it automatically takes me to the elements here. You have the frames, you have the effects and you have the elements, right? And it's under the image to video feature. And that's what we're going to use. Now, as you can see here, we have the four spots where we can upload our images for the elements. And under here, you have hints where, of course, you can add these hints in there. But again, it's going to use what's here. It's not going to use your images. And if you click generate, trust me, it's going to use it. So that's what that's for. It's just as an example. So I would delete that to make sure that it's your images going in there. And then you have the hints, prompts required, get inspiration. Of course, it says here, two girls hugging each other, probably based off what we selected here. But if you go to get inspiration, gives you the opportunity to also see other prompts that you could put in there. And it'll make sense. As you start to put images in here, you will know whether you want a shallow depth of field position at a higher angle, as you can see. And the good thing is they show you those examples. Capture the subject's front view. You get the opportunity to see exactly how that works. Close up. You see that from a drone's perspective. Something totally worth checking out. Now, you have the settings here. You have the standard mode, the professional mode, the negative prompts. That's all what's in the left here. And I'll show you exactly how to use all those in a minute. Now, first thing we want to do is upload our images here. So I'm going to drag the images that we are going to use here. And in this instance, what I'm actually going to do is picture me in a car with two ladies driving and we'll see exactly to give it sort of like a commercial feel to see what the outputs will be here. So let's upload the images here and I've created those images in AI and we'll just be uploading them here. So let's go. So the first image is going to be me. You can upload or drag it in there, which is so cool. It makes it so easy, right? And then the next image is going to be the car, actually, that I want to show that I'm driving. So let's put that in there and let's see. OK, so that's me. That's the car. And then two other characters that I'm going to put in there. So I'm going to put in that box and then her in this box. So here I am cruising on a nice Friday night with two nice ladies. Must be nice. So. These are the options that we can do here. What I want to do is picture myself driving in this car with these two ladies using all these four frames to see exactly what's going to happen, because that's what we've been told we can do. Now, I'm going to go here. I have the opportunity to do standard mode. 
which is so awesome because some features in Kling you can't do standard mode. But what does standard mode do? It only uses 20 credits. It's not as clear as the professional mode, not as crisp as the professional mode. But for the sake of you just understanding how this works, we're going to do the 20 credit one. And then I get to choose my duration. If it's longer, as you can see, 10 seconds is 40 credits. It doubles it up. I'm going to put it back there. And if I want to create two videos instead of one, as you can see, it doubles the credits too. When I go back to my simple one credit again, it goes back to 20 credits. If you want to do three videos, as you can see, it's 60 credits. So those are the settings that you need to be aware about. Now, this is very crucial. And what's important here is that you are listing what you don't want the AI tool to do. Your prompt here is telling the AI tool what not to do. And when you see it, it says list the types of content you don't want to see in the video. Examples, animation, blur, distortion, disfigurement, low quality, collage, grainy logos, all that stuff, which again, I would imagine they just wouldn't be there, at least for some of them. But it gives you an idea for what to put in there. If you do not want to see that, then put it in there. And I have a classic prompt that I use that I'm going to put in here so you can see exactly how I'm being specific with it. So the first thing I'm going to do is put those prompts in there, distortion, blurry, morphing, grainy, inconsistency, unnatural. I always put that in there. So it's showing me exactly what I want. You know, I don't want all of this. It's a duh, but again, it's good to put it in there because the AI tool is telling you to do that. And then I'm going to go to my prompts. And for my prompts, I'm just going to say, let's go in here. The stylish black man, because I'm choosing my character here, sits confidently in the driver's seat of, a, of the sleek, futuristic red convertible. Cruising down a neon lit city highway at night, a black lady sits in the passenger seat, smiling and enjoying the ride. The white lady in the black leans forward playfully, wind blowing through her hair. The city skyline glows with futuristic holograms reflecting off the polished car. The vibe is high class, energetic and cinematic, like a scene from a high end commercial or music video. As you can see, look at those prompts. Very important. I'm being specific, as specific as possible. And once I do that, now we have everything that I believe that I need. I am just going to click generate for 20 credits and let's see the output that we have. Over right here, that's the car. And as you can see, I'm driving in the red car. It doesn't look exactly like it as much. Um, with the neon lights, that's me. It doesn't really look like me. And as you can see, it's only one lady in the car, not two, really not one in the front seat, or there's a morph between that. So in this instance, I mean, I kind of like it. It's cool, but. I would have to readdress this because it's not exactly what I wanted. There's still some stuff in there. And it could also be because it's in a standard mode that it's not as crisp. But let's try another prompt here that we're going to generate. And let's see how that works out. All right. So here we are now. So I'm going to change the prompt. I've changed it now to say the stylish black man is wearing dark shades and sits confidently in the driver's seat of a sleek futuristic four passenger red convertible cruising down a neon lit city highway the black lady in yellow and i'm specifying the colors so maybe that'll help sits in the passenger seat laughing and enjoying the ride while the white lady in blue sits in the back leans forward playfully wind blowing through her hair the city skyline glows with futuristic holograms reflecting off the polished car kind of like emphasize the car being polished the vibe is high class energetic and cinematic like a scene again from a high-end commercial or music video. Of course, I'm going to put my negative prompts in there. And, and we are going to do standard mode. And so we have everything here. It's always good to double check and see what's going on. We do. All right. So we click generate and let's see what we get. Okay. So here we are here. As you can see, it generated that. Okay, a little bit more to the car. That's me. I'm actually wearing the clothes. But again, we still have a lady, just one lady. We uploaded two ladies and it still got me in the convertible. I do think I put, maybe I did not put four door in there. Huh? Let's see. Futuristic four passenger red convertible. So it did not get that. Now it sort of mixed the ladies, I would say, because as you can see here, a lady's wearing yellow and the other's wearing blue and just sort of like mixed them all up. I'm there looking cool in the shades, cruising, can't really see my hands and stuff. The city still looks good, but I would still probably want to work on this a little bit more to get the output that I want. And I'm keeping in mind that this is 
the standard and not pro mode, right? So what we're going to do again now is, because I'm not satisfied with this as much, I'm going to just create a totally different scene to see what is going on here because these are two scenes that I've created and with four characters where we're only seeing two characters and maybe it's the convertible throwing it off and all that. So how about we create a scene that has no car in it and let's just move forward with that. So that's what we're going to do next. But I still think it's pretty cool. Do not get me wrong. This is amazing. And you can imagine the possibilities as this evolves. All right. So what I'm going to do now in this instance is let's remove the car. I think the car might be throwing this image off a little bit. And so I'm just going to add an image of somebody else in here. Let's see. So there are four characters, I would say now. Yes. One, two, three, four. And we will then have to change our prompts because everything is changed here. And so in this instance, I'm just going to say the four diverse characters walking confidently towards the screen, each striking a powerful pose as they approach. Do not change the bodily features of the four characters. Just making sure it sticks to the body features because as you can see, some was changed. That was a little, that was changed a little in the other videos. The scene is cinematic with dramatic lighting and a futuristic cyberpunk inspired background. The atmosphere is electric with neon reflections on the wet ground, holographic billboards in the background, a slight mist adding depth. The character's clothing and accessories glow subtly, enhancing the sci-fi aesthetic, ultra detailed cinematic composition and photorealistic textures. And I'm still sticking to my negative prompts over here. And now, so we have it. Let, now let's see what happens. I'm still sticking to the standard mode here, not the pro mode. And so we'll click generate credits and see what the output looks like. Okay. So here we are here. Four characters. It's generated. It takes like four or five minutes. That's why I didn't want you to see the whole generation process. But as you can see, I'm the lead guy. I'm not in there, you know? Maintain the body features. She looks like this character in the middle. Her, she looks like her on the left. Yeah. And on the right too, slightly different than the image here. But again, I am missing here. And so I guess the question that probably, or what I'm actually noticing here is, does it factor in all four frames? Because this is the third time we've rendered. And as you can see, it's only brought out three of the renditions. Now, I don't know. Could that be a standard mode or professional mode thing? I don't think that should be the case because it didn't say that as you could see, but, but this is still wonderful. This is still really cool and still totally workable because it looks like the features we've put in here, they're walking confidently matching the prompt. And so that's just amazing. So you could lip sync this if you want, which is, we'll be talking about that later in another tutorial. You can publish it add it to your favorites or download with a watermark or without watermark, depending on your subscription. And then here, if you don't like it, report it or delete it. And so, but still pretty good. When you're done now, you can simply download this now and then go into any other editing tool to edit it further or actually publish it on your platforms. So I hope this was helpful, at least knowing some of these limitations that we've seen here and probably that'll change. But if you found this video helpful, like the video, subscribe to our channel so you can continue to see helpful content like this that just makes your life easier in knowing how to work these tools. Till next time, take care.